increase in the black market businesses of the so-called regulated petroleum product so much it is now hacked on the street, hooked on the street without recourse to its hazards. While Nigerians were grappling with the petroleum problems, the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN came with CASWA of new labor policy, which has introduced a new level of economic stress among its citizens, which have witnessed various dimensions and dramas of citizens venting their anger in sporadic and uncoordinated manners. In a similar vein, the simultaneous nature of this problem I witnessed just days to the 2023 general election. This calls for great concern within the youth and civil society cycle, as there have been visible lack of attendance to the issues by the relevant agencies and authorities, which may eventually spill over into a national crisis if left to drag, uh, to drag further. We are also needful mindful of the security situation of the country through a significant effort is witnessed from the ongoing kinetic energy engagement of the military. But it is noteworthy that security and safety of citizens is almost jettisoned at the expense of the ongoing policy coupled with the fact that the system is not ready for its takeoff. Though we observe as follows observation on the critical economic problems. That petroleum scarcity should be ended within the shortest possible time as the demand pool on product is no longer attaining equilibrium with the supply available those keen shall remain but the endurance of citizens are wearing out. The new NARA policy of CDN should be guided effectively so that it does not degenerate into national crisis. It is visible that there was not template for the take up of the policy, thereby raising economic concern vis-a-vis -vis its effect on our daily activities. Most importantly, that the rural populace who should be protected from the policy short are getting more affected. While the ongoing battling against all forms of insecurity in Nigeria persists, it is important that a collaborative approach be engaged through non-kinetic approach to speed up the pace of ending the crisis. Resolutions. The CBN should introspect on the new NERA policy with a policy impact assessment so as to redirect our energy for the sources of the policy. The commissar, in partnership with civil society organization, has constituted a progressive monitoring task force on the CBN new policy and other related matters. The task force is made up of 25 outstanding youth and civil society leaders, which include See the attached names in the document below. That the task force shall be saddled with the mandate of ensuring strict adherence to CPN and government regulation on the subject matters. Shall implement government effort in ensuring the sources of the CASUA policy by monitoring, observing, and reporting defaulting agencies to the relevant authorities for further action. Build a network of monitoring volunteers across the country with view to ending all forms of sabotage. Conclusion. The policy, as laudable as it is, lack a fundamental template for effective takeoff, which has which have become visible with the uneven distribution of the said new NERA note, why the fund's mobilization was inadequate. The timing is too short, as many of the rural dwellers may not have access to bank, which as they may not be able to abandon their daily jobs to queue for new money 
which is not available even as at when due. It is in the light of this that we intend to provide this necessary intervention to complement government effort from the youth and civil society perspective. In behind the press conference is to enlighten Nigeria that yes, Nigerians are with the government policy, but we equally need to increase templates that can make it easy and accessible to the populace. And as much as we understand that government is trying to sanitize the economic issue, we equally need to take into consideration the hardship and uh, unemployment it has created, which in so many ways has reduced the income generations of the government itself and increased insecurity to the society. So to say, we of civil society, we believe that we need to partner with the CBN to make sure that the policies work well and accepted, such as most of the people that are trying to sabotage the effort of the federal government and CBN can bring to book. In doing so, we are going to call all the relevant bodies to stand tall in fighting these menace of people sabotaging government effort while any time they choose to make life easier for people. So we are not going to relent to contribute our quota in making sure everything goes normal, devoid of rancor that can lead to chaos. And in every situation that leads to chaos, the, the innocent people suffer for it. So we cannot put our arms to allow our people to go astray and to allow our economy to go downward in situations that is going to increase insecurity that is already uh, leading our country. So also, the issue of 2023 election, we advise everybody that should not take the advantage of the situation at hand now to commit a uh, crime that is capable to jeopardize the peace and tranquility of this nation, that nobody is above the nation. No individual interest is above the interest of everybody and the nation itself. So we call on the politicians <coughs> to exercise adequate campaign that is going to be policy <coughs> and um, violence-free campaign that is going to promote the development of this nation. Thank you. The policy is intended as purifying the economy <coughs> to make it focused into returning Nairas that are stashed in places that we may not know. However, it is important to note that in engaging in this policy, we have identified that there was lack of policy impact assessment, which have led to untold hardship within the rural poor. These people in some communities, for example, I might use my place as an example. Uh, the nearest bank in my federal constituency to the three local government there is in the central. And it takes a woman and an old man from the end of Ogugu to get to Angba to get a bank like three to four hours. Not to talk about a man that is living on Mala at the extreme of Omala, maybe Bagaji or somewhere. It will take him like half of the day, like six hours, to get to the bank. Now, these are people that live on daily incomes. You go to the farm, you work for three hours, they pay you 1000 you keep it for another day. Now, how can this man go in two days attempting to get cash without any reasonable effort bringing out results? So, in that case, we have seen that the policy itself is good, but the implementation pattern has become detrimental to the people it seeks to protect. And in that vein, when you anger this large number of our populace, it will precipitate actions like the one we are witnessing now. You see people going to the bank, getting naked, people attacking banks. These are the things CONISA and the civil society organization want to help government to forestall. And in attempting to do that, we are going to go all out to see through this tax force that we do a monitoring and evaluation and report based on our observations gotten from the field back to government. Just like you all know, the civil society is a mirror of the populace to government, while they mirror the government to the populace. And on the other hand, too, with respect to uh, the uh, unavailability of uh, petroleum products and uh, 
election 2023. It is important that we advise ourselves to take advantage of the new electoral law that have seen to draw elections closer to the masses. Thereby, let's all work against apathy in the next COVID election. Let's follow all the instructions because beavers is not going to be removed from the election as we are assured by the INEC chairman. We want you to permit me to humbly and respectively borrow the words of Dr. Martin Luther King when he said, our life begins to end the moment we keep quiet about things that matter. What am I trying to say in this regard? I want to say that this is the reason why Konisa have come to add to the to add our impact, to add to our voice, because Konisa is the voice of the voiceless. It's time for us to speak. A tree cannot make a forest. The federal government cannot do it all. We, from members of Konisa, civil society, we are here to support the government. They cannot do it alone. That is why things are going this way. They need ideas. They need to call the citizens. They need to know how the citizens are feeling and hear from them and know how to prefer solution. I must say the Nigerian youth are really suffering this, most especially the women. The women are at the receiving end of all this crisis. Nigerian government, the CBN, have to take a stand as we speak right now. Take a drastic action to make sure that they reduce the sufferings of Nigerians. Because if they don't do so, within a, the shortest period, it will not going to be blessed. So we are calling upon them to stand up and do the needful. Elements call politicians want to influence INEC to postpone the 2023 general elections. And we want to sound this as a warning that INEC should not at any time consider this evil call of them to postpone the 2023 general elections in order not to escalate the current crisis